so now uh, we'll start doing uh, precision full wave rectifier circuit now i have told you this is a circuit where you have to give the input to pin number 2 and this will act as an inverting adder like in the previous video the theory part has been explained now we'll start doing the circuit in the piece spice so open the capture so I'll open it here itself, new project. So I need to give a name, I'll give it as precision full wave rectifier. Then give OK. OK. So a file will open, a schematic page. Click on it. Now the first thing what we do is we need two op amps. So consider the op amp here. So take a op amp UA741 double click place one here and one more here give escape then uh, we need resistors 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 resistors um, so go here Go to analog, click the component name as R, okay it is here, click on this. So one we need to place it across pin number 3, one more across pin number 2, one has to be given to the feedback, I will place it somewhere here and again the same type 1 to pin number 3 1 to pin number 2 and uh, one more below this as an input to be given to the second and one more as a feedback to here give escape then uh, we need diodes so we'll click on the diode here so diode uh, will be taking d1 n4007 double click now the diode has to be placed it has to be reversed so click on it click on the component Sorry. rotate it one more time you can rotate it okay now this also should be rotated click on it give rotate twice you can place it here along with this so then first we'll do the connection then give the supplies so take a wire here it has to be connected to ground similarly here it has to be connected to input this will be connected to pin number 3 This is connected to pin number 3. Similarly here it will be connected to a resistor. Now this pin number 6 has to be connected to diode. Diode output will be connected to this resistor. Similarly this resistor has to be connected to pin number 2. This to pin number 3. And this one it is connected to ground. You can connect it however uh, you wish. Take a wire. You will give it something like this. Now connecting to the feedback resistors. Now this resistor has to be connected to pin number 2. Similarly this resistor has to be connected here. And this resistor should be given to feedback. Again, this resistor is connected to this resistor. Sorry. It has to be... This has to be connected across the diode. Similarly, this diode and this resistor has to be connected. Similarly, from here it has to be connected to pin number 2 now only this resistor is remaining so you have to connect it to 
the input side here so input has to be given to the second op amp so up before the resistor okay so this completes the uh, connection now you can give the supplies so go to source here and one input we need here is v sign so take v sign double click give it here escape then we need vdc double click so we have two op amps so one here one here one here and one here so escape now do the alignment of this rotate it twice or once is also fine either you can for your convenient now here also you have to rotate it it has to be negative sorry click on this rotate rotate one more time you can rotate however if you wish to keep again this has to be rotated so this is the positive side here it has to be kept for the negative side okay rotate it now next thing we need is ground go and select this one ground to here one to this particular input one to this supply one to this one to this and one more to here okay now we need to connect the supplies take the wire so one to pin number seven from here to ground and this is not proper while doing the connection you should not cross the elements okay now this also to be connected to here similarly this has to be connected to four this is done again this supply one more first op amp this has to be connected to pin number four this has to be connected to pin number seven this to ground similarly this input to ground one more to this resistor and here also to ground escape so i think this almost completes the circuit we have given the input a resistor diode okay now we need to change the values we'll start from input so this is uh, zero as we had considered previously input amplitude should be one it is precision so value should be very less frequency we take it as 50 and ac is zero now starting from this resistor the resistor value which we have taken here is 680 then the below resistor is 1k so there is no change okay we have left the connection here diode connection this has to be connected to pin number six escape so diode is done this resistor we have to give the value as 2k so give it as 2k then this has to be 12 volt here it is minus 12 sorry don't give it as minus 12 it is just 12 because polarity we have given and this diode the resistor value here it is 470 okay this resistor value remains same 1k this is also 1k and this particular resistor is 3.9 kilo ohm okay and the supplies we have to change again to this op amp this is plus 12 this will be minus 12 okay so this completes the value now we have to give the rectifier i'll give it as create so you'll get the simulation file again here also it is a time domain so give the same input as okay 0 0.06 milliseconds 
then here it is 0 start saving is 0 you can give the maximum step size as 0 0.01 second apply ok you can save it also and you can run now once you run you need to give the nodes give to input and one more to output escape so now run it so we'll check the output so you can see here so this is the output of precision full wave rectifier for both the cycles we'll get the output there is no saturation point coming so the same output we have got here so if you compare the same thing you can see the amplification in the waveform for positive half cycle you are getting for negative half cycle also you are getting the output so note down the values and uh, write it down so again result also you need to calculate what is input voltage then rectify a peak output voltage so outcome will be we will be using a precision full wave rectifier circuit you are designing as well as you will be analyzing so this completes both a half wave precision rectifier saturation